back to some kind of decent alignment, right? So it doesn't matter which version of half guard you end up going to. So if I go through this sequence, I get to here, and I just get to here, and like we're here for a few seconds, that's good enough. Oh. Uh, okay. Very the obvious chi joke. Uh, the idea is that once I get to back to a half guard, it's whatever half guard I play. So if, like I would prefer to get to here because this is how I play my half guard. But if you play an underhook style half guard, you want to get yourself to here, that's totally fine. If you get this inside space and you actually like the clamp half guard, that's fine. But you have to have the inside space. It can't be, oh, I clamp my like that's we started here. This is not good for me. So once this knee comes in, if this is where you want to stop. This is where you want to stop. This is where you want to stop. This is where, it, it's, it's totally up to you. Just get back to a half guard that you're comfortable with. Top person, I want you trying to hold them down. This is like how much resistance you give your partner should be highly variable based on your relative size and experience to your partner, right? So if you're bigger, stronger, more experienced, you've got to start dialing it down quite a bit. If you're about the same size, same experience, like. 50, 60% is probably about all we want. We want the bottom person to achieve success if they do it correctly, and they should fail if they do it incorrectly. We don't want you to prove that you're really awesome at holding someone down with a cross face and an underhook, right? Like, if that's your main thing, man, I probably don't want to roll with you because you're going to be boring. But like, it's, it, it, like, that's not the point right now. The point right now is for the bottom person to experience some success. However, we're not drilling anymore. So if they just get out every time, then your resistance level is too low, right? So, like, if they succeed about this is not like a, this isn't the mount, right? Like, if I escape the mount 10% of, of my attempts, that's awesome. This is half guard, like, I'm a little bit messed up. If I succeed about half the time, that's probably about right. Let's say 30, 40% of the time, I should be succeeding in getting myself back to a decent position, right? So, if you're failing at too high a rate, that means that your partner's going too hard. If you're succeeding at too high a rate, it means they're not going hard enough. Does that make sense? Cool. Alright, we'll do six minutes, we'll switch off the bottom halfway through.